And I'm not getting sent anywhere. I just know. We're just going to have a conversation with you. We're Say gonna, wallah. We're going to have a conversation. Say wallah. I got your ass. I right, bro. You trying to set me up, guys? Damn! 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 Can I hang out with y'all tonight as Yusuf? Just me and not have to be the character I've been on the internet for so many years. And just give me that one night. Whatever, I'll leave. I, the internet wants me gone anyways. Always, I'll leave. But just give me one night as myself. Now, if you clicked on this video, I assume you know who Fuzi Tube is. He started his YouTube social media career a decade ago, was very successful at it. But just after a few years of getting himself into a very controversial stuff, he went full translucent mode. Just like Vitaly as well, Fuzi and Vitaly lost themselves into the whole money, fame type of thing, and they just didn't know who they were. That's why they went full translucent mode. But you know how I see, you might see him as this OG YouTuber from back in the day, you know, when you were watching throughout your teenage years, you might still see him that way. But the way I see him is literally the Joker. But if Joker was a cocky, self-centered person, just like Joker has been into many mental facilities, he's been crying in front of the camera, laughing uncontrollably, uncontrol control, English left the chat uncontrollably. Anyway, I give up. Just laughing and crying at the same time, just like Joker, but this joker is a little bit different it is very extremely cocky the second you know the subs hit 2000 and he thinks he's chilling with all the money in his pocket it's to come and why would you think i'm not on the list why are you profiling me and thinking i'm not on the list i am on the list this is sidebar my name is fusi i am on the list so don't profile me like that for no reason because I don't look like I fit the character that usually comes into your parties. That's not cool at all and I'm talking to you respectfully, dog. I've been in the game 13 years. I deserve to be here more than you do. I actually don't want to go in right now. That was very f***ing rude. Very rude. What do you do? He profiled me. He looked at me. He said, sorry, sir. You got an RSVP to be here before he even asked me, are you on the list? Bitch, I'm Fousey. I am the list. I feel like this is what's going to happen once you give Joker the attention that he's seeking. He's going to turn into Fousey tube, literally. You know who I am? You don't know? I will buy you, sell you, sell you again, and buy you again. Sit down and kiss my feet. My ass head is wor worth more than you. Now, I might make some comments that you might not like. You'll be like, why are you kicking him down while he's already down? We'll get to that later on in the video, and I'm going to give my opinion on the help that he needs. Now, to recap you about this whole situation, the exact same thing happened last year as well, when Fuzzy decided to come back to the internet and take it by storm, and he did. When, you know, Kick was booming off last year around the same time, there was no escaping Fuzzy on the internet. His face was everywhere with the shit that he's, but he was doing on live stream. But unfortunately, in August of 2023, he got arrested and he was sent to a mental facility. I have his address! What is his address? I said grab my security 20 minutes ago! You guys are dumb as f man. You guys are literally dumb as f All y'all. Y'all are f I'm suing all y'all. My life is in danger and you arrest a Palestinian Muslim who's viral? Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? Do you like your job? You're f Hey! My favorite part in this clip was a Katy Perry ringtone at the end. Hearing this, and it just shows that he just got lost again. He fell for the same thing that he told himself that he's going to recover from. Fame and money. He just lost himself. And we're not going to talk about much about last year. We're just going to talk about what's happening at the moment. So just a few weeks ago, Fuzi was released from the mental facility and he was ready. And his team was like, okay, you're ready to come back and take kick by storm again. And this time he decided to go the same path as he did before, just hanging out with Sneeko Neon, Aiden Ross, just like before, got, in, got themselves into a lot of drama. He got a little bit of viewers. What happened then? All the humbleness. I was down. I got up. It just, it just farted out the window. And with the recent drama, which is very important in this whole situation, is his hangouts with Sneeko, Neon, and Aiden Ross, because they were all hanging out, but Aiden Ross, Sneeko, and Neon, which are other popular kick streamers, they decided to not hang out with Fuzi anymore. And what happens to Fuzi when 19-year-olds don't want to hang out with them? He decides to identify himself 
with 19 year old behavior now i can't be playing you the music is copyrighted they're just laughing fuzzy made went on a live stream these are like the three besties besties forever and he's burning it because they are no longer friends fuzzy throughout the whole stream was just calling these guys fake and just cursing at them he's got a lot of people trying to drain me of this energy this is a clip where fuzzy decided to part ways from neon and they're no longer besties and I gotta be honest with you, this clip really broke my heart. Now, obviously, if I'm 34 years old and my 20-year-old friends go to a shisha place without me, I'll be very hurt as well, and I'll take their pictures and put my balls on it. Not only that, I'll print my bestie's pictures out, I'll take it to my grandma's bestie as well, we'll put it in fire, do some black magic on them, because... <laughs> how dare they you know this is this is what because this is just something very unforgivable now after this whole drama between these friends fuzzy decided to go translucent mode this was posted on his twitter sos if anyone has seen or heard from yusuf who's fuzzy please contact me deem g7 on discord or message me here haven't heard from him since last night and he missed his flight in the morning to atlanta the team and his family are worried. This was a message from his management. And this was a picture that was shared just a few hours ago. Yusuf confirming that he just needs some space. He's fine. He just wants to be alone. He wants to be with his own thoughts. And now this is the clip where his management called him and said, your family and your team are worried about you. Please come back. We can sort out this issue. We just want to make sure you're safe. And this is when Fuzi went full defensive mode and said, no, you want to send me back to a mental facility. Hello. Yo, why are you? Huh? You're on stream, so anything you say is heard. That's fine. I think you should end it. End what? End the stream. And then what? There's, just, there's no reason for this. Okay, you just entertain me. And then what? Nothing. We can talk off stream. That's it? That's it. If I end it, you'll have a conversation? Yes. That's it? That's it. We and I'm not getting sent anywhere. I just know. We're just gonna have a conversation with you. We're Say wallah. We're gonna have a conversation. Say wallah. I got your ass. I, right, bro, you trying to set me up, guys? Damn! Damn! This say walla situation gets a lot of people to self-snitch on each other. I've self-snitched on myself a lot because, you know, you don't want to lie and put God's name in your mouth as well while lying. This is a very great sin in my religion. Even 100% back in the day where there was no security cameras, you rob a place, you steal something that doesn't belong to you. The police or your parent or anyone will come up to you. The teacher will be like, did you do it? No, absolutely not. How dare you? I would never in my life steal this gum. Say wallah. There is no recovery from this. The only way you can recover from it is if you fart in a room or in an elevator and your friends say, did you fart? You say no, but you know, they say, say wallah, you didn't fart. And you say, I don't want to bring God's name for something this stupid. This is the only comeback to this. Anyways, back to the Fuzzy situation. I'm not going to go through all the clips. I'm just going to show you the ending of this whole thing. The sad part where Fuzzy sits down and says, I don't want to be Fuzzy anymore. I want to be Yusuf. I want to be me. I'm tired of the online personality that I have. I just want to be myself, which was truly moving. What my spidey senses are telling me is this is probably the last day you're going to see me. It's only a matter of time until they get my location. And once they get my location, there's not really much you can do. I'm going to ask y'all, um, can I hang out with y'all tonight as Yusuf? Just me and not have to be the character I've been on the internet for so many years. And just give me that one night. Whatever, I'll leave. I, the internet wants to be gone anyways. Always, I'll leave. But just give me one night as myself. I'll literally be chill. Now, during the whole live stream, the police came over. They wanted to do a welfare check to make sure he's all right. And after a lot of back and forth with his management, Fuzzy confirmed that he'll be going for 80 days to a mental facility. And you will probably forget about me, but I will be back. Now, I'm going to go on a yapping session of my own opinion about this whole thing. He's just not happy with what, what he's doing. He's clearly not happy putting the fuzzy personality on because in his head yusuf is not as entertaining and he's not going to be bringing entertaining content and a lot of people won't be tuning in with them now let's say if that's true it is still better to not lose your shit it is 100 better for him in the long term because he'll be doing the things that he loves not screaming and jumping around 
just to put, you know, entertain people and put the fuzzy personality on. He can be himself, enjoy himself and do this long term and don't care about what other people think and the collaborations with 19 year olds. I know it's a part big of the industry. Influencers usually need to collaborate together to stay relevant. But I'm pretty sure if he's himself, people will respect him more and would want to collaborate with him rather than ghosting him and then Fuzzy end up burning up their pictures because of their friendship is over. He's clearly not happy doing what he's doing. And I think his life will be so much better and healthier off of social media. But it feels like he can still make a lot of money and be popular with it. He can if he knows how to control his shit because he keeps losing it and if you get yourself in the whole you know social media industry especially live streaming you need to be very careful with the people that you hang out i personally have like one or two friends in the whole social media game and i've been doing it for four to five years you might not if you're new if you're old here you know the whole backstory but if you're new here i have a decent amount of following on my tiktok and i've been through this invited to this whole youtube events tiktok events all these things and there's a lot of i've met a lot of influencers social media type of people and the reason i decide to keep my circle small is because everyone's fake hey bro i love your shit no you don't like my sh don't don't lie to me everyone's just acting nice and trying to steal off followers or subscribers from everyone's another i just don't like the whole thing i like to just sit in front of the camera yap the people I hang out with, they have absolutely, they have like 200 followers. Absolutely have nothing to do with social media. So the options are very clear for Fuzi. If you want to keep doing what you're doing, he understands the game. He's been through it for a long time. He knows everyone's fake, but you just got to be able to not let your mental issues come in the way if you want to go down this line. And the second option is just get off social media, bro. Get off social media, get a job managing uh, influencer in the same industry. You can do a lot of things, but just not being on the camera. And I think that's going to be so much better for your mental status. But at the same time, he's very, his ego is extremely huge. He's a very self-centered person. And this is not the first crash out that he's having. He's been through it over the past decade. If you know his backstory, you know what I'm talking about. But at the same time, it's really sad seeing someone go through this whole thing i hope he gets better he gets the help he needs and i hope he makes the right decisions in his life going forward a 19 year old didn't invite you to a youtube uh, kick live stream hangout fuck them why you care so much but anyways just wanted to share this whole thing with you as usual let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you're new here like and subscribe i would really appreciate it take it easy i'll see you at the next one